Hey YouTube, it's uh, it's Grizzly Green 19 here, and uh, I got a little uh, didn't uh, didn't know I was gonna get this. Friend came to school with it. Well, no, I knew he was gonna get. It. I didn't think he was really gonna get it, but uh, anyways, it's Copenhagen Wintergreen. Yeah, buddy. But, uh, I was gonna save, I wasn't gonna open a can until, uh, I got to you guys, but I had to take a pinch in school. Well, actually, I took, like, six pinches in school. So, uh, sorry about that. But this is Copenhagen Wintergreen Long Cut. So, uh, now you notice, uh, you got the dolly over there. Got a bin over there. Now, uh, I'm in my shed. Now, y'all are probably like, Hey, why is Grizzly Green 19 in his shed? Well, it's because I, uh... Well, if you really... A lot of people think, oh, it's because his parents are home. No, my parents don't care about me dipping. Uh, if you want to be completely honest, I, uh... I took a dump, and it, the whole house stinks. So I'm in the shed. The only reason I'm in the shed is because it's uh, it's raining out today. So uh, I'm gonna be doing this review in the shed. So uh, Copenhagen Wintergreen Long Cut. So uh, let me get to it. It's a little hard to pinch, not as long cut as some other kinds of dip. It's, uh, right off the bat, it's, uh, it's one of the best tasting wintergreens I've had. The only, it, I mean, it packs good. The can, I love the look of the can. Let me get it all right for you. Got a little diamond, the CW. Got the Copenhagen long cut. Got the barcode, got the warning label. Got the, uh, pretty cool. It's got like a uh, diamond in the background. Gold color. Now, uh, the only thing I don't like is it comes in a plastic can. Most Copenhagen's come in a cardboard can, but, uh, this one don't. Uh, pretty good. It lasts a long time. I, uh, I actually don't usually get buzzes like some people do when I dip, like, grizzly or something. But, uh, Copenhagen gives me a buzz. It says call on the bottom of the can. It's real fresh. It says sell by August 5th, 2012. It's got a number on the bottom of the can. And the, uh, 
The number is 1-866-404-1822. So, uh, I don't know what that is, but y'all call it. Uh, I like that color green on the can. All the words are in gold and everything. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's really good. Uh, nice flavor. And again, I, tell you, I really like the look of the can. To be completely honest. It's a pretty cool looking can. Made by a U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a, it's a good dip. It's a really good dip. I got a BB gun without a stop. I don't know. I dropped it and it broke. But you go like that and it shoots. You just pull the lever back. And it shoots. Don't know why. I like it there. You can just kind of no trigger, nothing. You don't even have to touch the. This is just a BB gun. It's actually an old Red Rider. It's an old Red Rider. And Daisy, of course. It's the only good BB gun. In my opinion, anyway. Now, I don't know, it's kind of random. But the way I look at it, when it's got the stock on, it kind of looks like an AK-47. Now, tell me with the stock, that would look like an AK-47. But, uh, as far as the main concern of this video goes, it's a good dip. I like it a lot. It, uh, it's got a real strong flavor. It's got a, it's got a, a certain sweetness to it, and by that I mean it's sweet, but it's not sweet. Now, uh, if you dip Copenhagen in wintergreen, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, it's a good dip. It's all around good dip. I ordered my mud jug yesterday. I ordered my mud jug last night. So. Uh, Y'all see me with a mud jug. Just the black. I just got the black one. Uh, it's raining out here. And it's been raining all day. And you know what that means. Rain's going to be gone tomorrow. And guess what I'll be doing. Not going to put a video up tomorrow. Because I'm going to be mudding all damn day. I, I don't even, if it ain't rain, if it ain't raining when I wake up, and I look at the weather and it ain't supposed to rain, I ain't going to school. My hair's all wet, looks greasy. But, uh, never got my hat back. I'm so mad, dude, never got my hat back. I'll, uh, I'll probably get it tomorrow or something. But, uh, yeah. It's raining, I'm in the shed. Got a little window in the shed. Actually, uh, the door is what the phone's sitting on right now. That ain't got no door. But uh, it's a good dip, man. I'd highly recommend it if you're a, if you're a Copenhagen lover. Just like Copenhagen Long Cut or Snuff. And uh, you've never tried the wintergreen. I, I would recommend it. If you're a uh, wintergreen lover, I'd recommend it. Uh, it stays packed in your mouth too. It's, it's like the Kodiak in that part. It don't come loose in your mouth. It's very comfortable. Uh, it don't really burn. It don't really burn. 
but it's a really long lasting flavor. It's very unique. It's a unique flavor. Hey, watch this. I just sling it around and it shoots. Ain't that crazy? But, uh, it's a good dip. It's a good dip. I recommend it. I'd recommend it to anybody. Uh, that's really all I got for this video. So, I might put an update up later. I think I'm getting some Copenhagen snuff on Friday. If I do, you know that video will be up. So, uh, subscribe, comment, like the videos. Uh, check out Rebel Dipper 824. Check him out. And, uh, I'm gonna go. Alright.